Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about surface modification by carbonitriding process. In the previous videos, we have studied the thermochemical methods for surface modifications by carburizing and nitriding. In this video, let us understand about carbonitriding. What is carbonitriding? Carbonitriding is a surface modification process that involves diffusion of carbon and nitrogen atoms into interstitious small spaces in the surface of metal. This process is used to develop hard, wear resistant surfaces. The hardness of the surface is directly proportional to the amount of diffusion of the carbon and nitrogen in the surface. This process is used to improve the corrosion properties of the material that are subjected to wear. Here, in this figure, we can see how the carbonitriding process takes place. Next, let us understand how carbonitriding is performed. Carbonitriding involves the addition of carbon, which is around 0.5 to 0.8%, and ammonia to a substrate surface. Ammonia acts as a source of nitrogen, which is around 0.2 to 0.4%. Nitrogen is absorbed into a surface and diffuses into the workpiece along the with the carbon. This process requires temperature to be maintained in a range of 820 to 900 degrees Celsius in a gaseous atmosphere. After diffusion time, the components are immediately quenched in oil. Typical thickness is around 0.75 mm and this phenomena alters only to the surface of the material. Thickness cannot be increased rapidly as diffusion is diminished once the top layer is carbonitrided. Here in the figure we can see the temperature versus time plot for the carbonitriding process. What is the major applications of carbonitriding? Austenitic carbonitriding is successfully applied in generally mass produced components and those of the smaller dimensions where great resistance to wear is required and where the case depth requirements range of 0.1 to maximum of 0.75 mm. Typical applications include gears and shafts, pistons, rollers and bearings, levers in hydraulic, pneumatic and mechanical actuated systems primarily to improve the wear resistance and fatigue strength of plain carbon steels. I hope from this video you understood what is carbonitriding, how carbonitriding is performed and what are the applications of carbonitriding. These are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribonet. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.